Hello folks, welcome to nojseveryday.com YouTube channel and you're joining me, I'm Ishu Prasad Yadunapuri and today we're gonna learn how to use Ramda.js to achieve functional programming in our JavaScript applications that are written on Node.js framework. Ramda.js can be used not just on Node along with Node.js but they can be used even on the front end in your browser and yet this channel is mostly on Node.js and so we're gonna use Ramda.js in our Node.js applications to see how we can achieve the concept of functional programming using Ramda.js. If we go back to, I'm sorry, if we go to Ramda.js website, we are currently using, uh, current version of Ramda is v o.23.0 and what the website says is Ramda is a practical functional library for JavaScript programmers. So it means it not just for Node.js but it is also for the front-end developers and no matter what it can be used by any of the JavaScript programmers. So one of the key features that Ramda gives, I mean few of the key features that Ramda gives us in terms of achieving this functional programming concepts is that it emphasizes on pure functional style immutability and side effect free functions that are the heart and heart of its design philosophy so before we read further on what is Ramda and why it is different I would want you to get a practical understanding on How to use Ramda. Sorry for that pop-up. I don't know what really went wrong. So for the ease of use, I have created an application with a package.json file in it and I have added Ramda version.23 as one of the dependencies of our application. And so let's go to the console. Sorry, console and say npm install and it will quickly go pick up ramda and runs it for us All right, I'm sorry. So, Ramda is installed, and I have also done one thing uh, for the ease of uh, for for going quickly through this tutorial. I have created uh, an array of objects, and this array has an object with name and a class. So, essentially, there is a student with the name Ishur, and he belongs to a class CS. So that's for computer science and there is another student with the name Prasad and he belongs to a class CS and there's another guy Uncle Bob Martin he might be a friend of this guy so Mr. Bob and he belongs to EC and there's another guy with Martin and so on and let's go into the index.js I did a require of the students and let's see if it prints the array for us. Let's clear the screen. Say node index.js and there we go we get the array of students printed on the screen so we are ready to work on it. So one of the first functions that we would see is the higher order functions. Uh, mostly whenever someone talks about functional programming and when they start talking about higher order functions one of the first function that gets to our mind is map. So we'll, let's go to the documentation of Ramda quickly. See what a map function is. A map as you can see in the documentation uh, operates on a list so the list can be an array or an object so it takes a function and a functor and applies that function to each of the functor values you don't have to worry about what a functor is 
if you have minimum understanding of what a functional programming is all about it should be good enough for you to work on ramdajs i mean start working on ramdajs as such so we'll see how we can use map so the map says it takes a function and a functor and applies the function to each of the functor values so what a functor really is a functor is a function on top of an array or an object on which we apply the map function so what is a functor a functor is one such uh, if you apply the function map on top of an array or an object it becomes a functor I hope that doesn't get you confused if it gets confused if it's a bit confusing I would want you to go back pause this video and listen it a couple of times more so that it's a bit easy to understand so let's get into it so because we have Ramda what we'll do is we'll say I want the names of the students from the students data so I'll say const get names is equals to r dot map so in functional style of programming ramda takes the function first and the data that has to be operated by this function would be the second second parameter in the uh, in, in the in the operation so let's leave the first one so that it doesn't get confused at the start of this uh, practical understanding of how we use ramda.js so we have our object I mean sorry data that is students and I want to print the student names so for every element that I get I want to print the names is it names or name its name so I want to print the name of that student okay so that's it guys I'm sorry so let's say a console dot log of get names and do a console run the application there we go we get only the names from the array by using a map function if you really did not understand this single line it is written in ex6 style that is ECMAScript 6 2016 style uh, wherein this is called as fat arrow so a uh, fat arrows are a short form of writing functions we can also achieve this by doing this uh, I'm sorry uh, let's go to the end of this return name is a function so you can write it in ES5 like this so it takes uh, data and it says written data dot name I can even pass this here return name and it would still return me the same output there you go so it returns me the same output instead of using ES5 style I would want you to write it in ES6 style because going ahead ES6 will predominantly be supported by major frameworks written on JavaScript and Node as, Node as well has a majority of support majority support uh, sorry Node supports majority of the functions and uh, uh, things from ES6 as on today when I'm recording this video so for every element of the array I want the name to be printed so there is the response I mean the result so now if you want to say I say for example we okay I want to know I want to get only the names of those students who belong to a 
class CS. So only students who attend computer science. I want only the names of those students. Then we can do one thing. Let's say const get students of CS. So what we can do is we can filter it. So for every element that I get, I need to return only those students whose class is CS and students. Let's go quickly and check the documentation if we have written that in the right way. So it also takes a filterable predicate and returns a new filterable of the same type. So what we'll do is quickly print the result of this. Oh, someone's calling me on my landline number. Let's leave it up. Leave it out. Let's clear the screen and print it. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so here we go. We get the array of students along with the name and the class and if we can see the result the results are only of those students who are taking the computer science class but we want the names of them so what we can do is we can apply a map on top of this result I'm sorry I don't know what went wrong Okay. What we can do is we can apply the map dot map map. So map gets this function. So it's again an array. Uh, so for every element in the array, I need to print the name of those students. Let me see if this works. So there we go. 